Southeast Wisconsin on alert. A desperate search for 15-year-old Catherine Stahlbaum. Heartache for her family and friends. And tonight, a major new development in this case. Waukesha County Sheriff's Detectives located Catherine's bike this afternoon. And this evening, I talked to the person who says she found the bike. She does not want to be identified, but here's what she told me. The bike was found in a yard in the city of Waukesha, more than five miles away from Catherine's home and school. The woman tells me she's shaken up because she's worried about the missing teen. Now the bike is important because Catherine texted a friend on Tuesday saying she was going to ride her bike to school. Here's a map of Catherine's house in Genesee and the route she would likely have taken to get to Kettle Moraine High School. Again, we're told the bike was found in the city of Waukesha. That is more than five miles away. Now, sheriff's detectives say they are not sure what to make of the discovery. Not sure if it means foul play. Shannon Sims is live outside the sheriff's department with more on the story. Shannon. Mike and Carol, this new development of not only finding the bike, but the location makes it even more important in finding out what happened to Catherine Stahlbaum. Her face is plastered on the windows of gas stations and bars in Wales, but still no sign of Catherine Stahlbaum. We don't know what happened to Catherine. I don't, I don't know if she's left voluntarily. I don't know if she's left uh, against her will. Tuesday was the last time anyone saw the 15-year-old girl. She left her Genesee home on a bike headed to school, but Catherine never showed up. Late Thursday afternoon, police confirmed they found the missing teen's bike. However, investigators refused to go into details of where they discovered her bike. Hours later, we spotted a helicopter with lights hovering over an area between Catherine's home and her high school. You know, you expect them to come home from school, and they never even made it to school in the first place. Mm -hmm. Tonight, the Waukesha Sheriff's Department has 16 detectives sorting through leads, hoping to bring Catherine home. I'll look at, I'll look at 100 facts that we have to discount to find the one that's going to lead us uh, to the next step in this investigation. And earlier this morning, a dive team was searching a retention pond. They came up empty. Officers say they will begin their search again in the morning. Also, they're asking the public to keep their eyes and ears open. In Waukesha, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Shannon.